All right, hey, Shalom Makiam. First and foremost, I like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Wadash, the bonds to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, push his knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that we call Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. All right. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that we call God, one that we call Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the most sign of son, you must say Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh means he to be or he is. Bahashim means in the name. And Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior is come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel from the destruction of the modern day Babylon, aka America. I want to say Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, and the body of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The body of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai for this opportunity, this 100% truth. The body of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And the body of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai for all you beloved brethren out there. Find this good fight of faith and Lord willing to the end. All right, coming back, catch you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. So we're just going to jump right into it. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 5. For Israel had not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God. Of the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Tazabah, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. So the nation of Israel was once in our holy land, the land of Israel, Jerusalem. We got cast up out of there because of sin, going against the commandments of our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which this, this was all, you know, this is part of the Most High's plan to prophecy. To be fulfilled. So when it says uh, for Israel, it's dealing with the northern kingdom. Yashra, Yashra, I mean, we're, we're the Israelites of whole, but we got split into two. All right. It says the name used and given to the northern kingdom consisting of the ten tribes under Jeroboam, and the southern kingdom was known as Judah. All right. So the Most High is bringing us back into one. Under the tabernacle of David. And with that, you're going to have the Spanish speaking brothers out there prophesying. You have brothers that, that speak different languages of the north prophesying, man. Plain and simple. All right. You're dealing with the uh, the two witnesses, the two candlesticks. So many false prophets is out there. We are one nation. The Negro tribes, the Spanish speaking tribes, and the native tribes of the Native Americans, the, uh, the, um, the tribe of Gad, the tribe of Reuben, Reuben the Simo Indians. And then you have the Israelites who have been scattered abroad. So when you go into the, uh, Judah, of course, you're dealing with the, you know, the head tribe, of course. But when we got split, on the information said right there, we, we was known as the Jews. Okay, so this is particularly dealing with the Southern Kingdom. All right, you're going down to the, uh, the letter D, the def, um, an example in D, the kingdom comprised of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin, which occupied the southern part of Canaan after the nation split upon the death of Solomon. Also dealing with uh, the tribe of Levi as well. See, the tribe of Levi never really got a territory because they were the priesthood. So they were, they were um, you know, within the south and within, within the north scattered. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, so we we are not forsaken, brothers and sisters. Giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. This uh, information is on the four corners of the earth. You know we um you know beloved brothers. Well, when I'm part of that, you know this 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 holy calling. We're teaching the hundred percent truth. The only Israelite group, and all the GMS affiliates, everybody else on some other shit, man. It says flee out of the midst of Babylon. And deliver every man his soul. The modern day Babylon is here in America. And this vibration is, is throughout the four corners of the earth. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is a time of Yahweh's vengeance. 
he will render unto her a recompense. So the Lord is getting ready to really destroy this place. N-O-T, flee from Babylon, meaning you got to come back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Save yourself. Don't get trapped in her punishment. It is the Lord's time for vengeance. He will repay her in full, in full measure, man. So you already know, I got, I got a video illustration for you. Here we go. Ancient Babylon in the past. History has never recorded the fall of a state or a city in the way described by the prophets. What weapon could silence an entire continent in one hour? The world has never seen one until a few years ago. So I want to say this real quick. Um, that one hour, you know, you got to spit out the bonus over here to give you the right um, understanding. There will be an EMP attack. What's going to destroy this place in one hour or is it thermonuclear destructions? This will be the perfect, uh, what you call, um, crippling effect to stop Babylon from really retaliating. It's the EMP attack. So these those missiles can come from different parts of the world. Okay? So EMP is part of it. Okay? With the creation of the electromagnetic pulse, or EMP. Over and over, think tanks like the EMP Commission, working for the Senate, have warned how this is the greatest and perhaps only real vulnerability of the United States. Yet no administration has done anything about it. We are completely unprepared for what's coming. Every report says the same thing. This event can wipe out 90% of Americans, and all it takes is just one warhead to be detonated above the United States to take us back to medieval times. The lasting effects will destroy society as we know it, exactly as the scriptures predicted. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. Without hospitals or pharmacies being able to function, people won't be able to take their necessary medication. Without running water, heat, and garbage disposal, diseases will break out. As cars and trucks stop running, market shelves will become empty. Desperate people will become looters and there will be food riots. There will be no police, no law, no health care, no help. It will all descend into chaos and confusion. A complete collapse of everything we take for granted today. As the prophet Jeremiah says, And it shall be, when thou hast made an end of reading this book, that thou shalt bind it to a stone, and cast it into the midst of Euphrates. And thou shalt say, Thus shall Babylon sink, and shall not rise from the evil that it will bring upon her. And this is the start of the time of tribulation and sorrow. Prophets tell of the fall of Babylon, the destruction of the United States of America as we know it. Bam. So right there, man. <clears throat> so so terrible times is coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahushua because Babylon has been the golden cup. Verse 7, Babylon had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand. All caps. L-O-R-D. S. You know, you got Yahweh, you have Yahweh Shire and the holy angels, man, on the right hand and on the left. The left hand consists of, of Satan and, and demonic energy. The right hand, you deal with Michael and the archangels. The rest of the angels. Michael is an archangel, and you have the rest of the angels. Okay? That made all the earth drunken. So, this metaphorically speaking, man, this the whole earth is under a spell. Coming from America, because if you were born out of America, if you was born down in Mexico, and you know what I'm saying, back in the 70s, 80s, and your, your family been here, you, you first, second, third generation, because the place is impoverished. From Central America, first, second, and third generation, because the place is impoverished. From the Caribbean islands from South America, could be the first, second, or third generation, because you got to come here for a better life. I remember once when I was living in Guyana, man, we used to look at our neighbor's television, looking at the different TV shows and, and being amazed by how they just show the old school um, series, Miami Vice, and thinking that's how America is. 
TJ Hooker, all the different commercials with chicken, <laughs> KFC, you know. So it's, it's a spell. Okay, let me see what it says. To be or become drunk or drunken is, is metaphorically speaking, filled with drink, figuratively influenced. Here it is. Strong's definition, figuratively influenced to be filled with. This place has a major influence on, on, on the, um, the nations of the earth and the, and the main ones that, that um, are being used to influence people to come out is the Israelites. Then you have the money faction of it, a better life and, you know, things of that nature. So, so this place is a major influence on the minds of everybody in the world, man. So that's that golden cup, you know. This is all a part of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So the nations have drunk enough her wine, took part in the influence, the, the ideologies, the philosophies, the fornication. Therefore, the nations are mad. You're dealing with the financial structure of things. You take, you go around, you know, take all of the nation's natural resources, give them pieces of paper. That's why these nations are, are leaving the American dollar. But it's all part of the plan. You got the plan of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, then he's using the elites of the society to, to push their agenda so they can be destroyed, so prophecy can be fulfilled. In the midst of that, he have the prophets, his men out there. It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her, take balm for her, pain. If so be, she may be healed. There ain't no coming back. But what has already been written, you know, from the heavens to the to these to the, uh, to this this book, the Bible, man. You know, coming back, man. This is this is this is the Lord's plan. So either you part of the elect, the Lord willing, I am, man, because it's gonna be bad out here. You know, where it's gonna take big faith. And the Lord is going to show miraculous things for his because the scriptures say my servant shall eat. And these people out here are about to go, they're going to go fucking crazy, man. All right. It says we, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Fuck this place, man. All right. You, 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 on the, you know, of course, you got to get your daily bread and do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Just handle your business, man. But fuck this place, man. This, this, this ain't it. All full of lies and robbery on all levels. You're getting robbed, man. You understand? Let us go, everyone, into his own country. And that, you know, a lot of people have left the country. A lot of people have, have moved from different parts of the states. Leaving the country, man. For her judgment is reached unto heaven and is lifted up, up even unto the skies. You're dealing with the pollution of this place, man. You know, it's Esau, by not keeping the ordinances of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, has caused the earth to be in a, in a very um, devastating state, man. You understand what I'm saying? The air we breathe is poison. Everything is, is poison. But you got... Way worse of places than this, man. But this is where the pinnacle of judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to take place, man. So you, you link this up, um, Revelation chapter 17. All right. Verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman um, sit upon a scarlet colored beast. Full of the names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. So, metaphorically speaking, this woman is dealing with America. And the, the, the scarlet color beast dealing with uh, their alliance that they have with, with NATO and EU. The seven heads and ten horns. That's, that's the, uh, the European Union and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which started from ancient Roman Empire. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations 
and filthiness of our fornication because, you know, once upon a time, this was the place to come. Fast money. You had the cocaine epidemic, the crack. All types of shit was coming through here, man. That fast life, come here, open up your businesses, restaurants, and all that, but all that's going away. These corporations are taking over. But in the midst of that, you have nothing but abominations, nothing but wickedness is, is, has, has been going on over here, man. All right? And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, the abomination of the earth. It's, it's right here. Even though, you know, you come here and make a, a, a living, whatever, this this is this place is an abomination in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He set this place up for, for, for prophecy's sake to be destroyed. Shalom.